Hey guys, welcome to my December plan with me video. Before we actually get started with December, I wanted to do a quick flip through of November. I've never done a flip through before, but I figured we could try it out and see how it goes. This calendar turned out to be one of my favorite so far. I did rectangular boxes instead of square and I loved it so much that I will be using it again in the month of December. I'm going to go ahead and keep tracking what I ate, but the feeding schedule didn't work out quite as well as I wanted to. It wasn't as accurate or as easy to accomplish, so I'm recalibrating and changing it for December so I can track it a little bit better. Oh, and sleeping log. That didn't go well. I lost steam about halfway through. It was just too much work to do the dots and the lines and all that, so again, recalibrating for next month. One line a day and brain dumps. Normal went really well. Did some vertical layouts in three out of the five months or weeks for this month. This spread was definitely my favorite that I'm showing here. And this was my least favorite. I will not be using this spread again. It was far too simple for me to enjoy. And then again, switched back to the vertical layouts for this week and left room for my gratitude logs for each day. And then we ended the month with this weekly spread, which turned out to be one of my favorites as well. I just loved the way it looked with the gratitude log and how it all looked filled in. Then we've got the November review and December planning pages that are obviously not filled in yet. My baby's first bath and some newborn pictures. And then we've got a spread from the Dallas Arboretum. We just spontaneously decided to go one day and I know it's from October, but I wanted to include it anyway. I just enjoyed it a lot. So I saw this spread on Pinterest and wanted to include it. It's just, oh, I spelt watched wrong. That's so disappointing. I just realized that. <laughs> anyway, I tracked what I watched on television and movies. And then with this last page, I just saw this quote on Pinterest and I've got a lot of things I want to accomplish and no real reason not to. So I thought it would be a good way to close out the month by just putting that in there as an encouragement as we get into this last month of the year and hopefully it'll help me get things done. So that is my November flip through. Let's go ahead and get started with our December planning. All right, so to get started with December, I do want to make a couple of announcements, I guess, if they're announcements, but I'm definitely, definitely using Christmas music for this video. The thing that makes me feel the most in the Christmas spirit is Christmas music. I just love it. So that's definitely the type of music we're listening to for the rest of this video. Also, my son is sleeping in his swing, so you will hear the like clicking of his swing and you'll also hear his sound machine otherwise he won't stay asleep so that's on and it is what it is so for this month I started um, planning it and I really wanted to keep it super simple because I love the simplicity of my November setup and I couldn't think of a way to do that so I was talking about it with my husband and he suggested Christmas trees so that's what I went with I don't know if these are really Christmas trees because they're just green triangles with brown lines under them, but I thought I looked festive without being overly Christmassy, so that's what I went with. And I used the Stadler pigment liners for all of the black ink in my videos and the Stadler colored pencils for all of the trees. So like I said in my November flip through, I'm going to be using the same calendar style for December. It just looks a little bit different because there's an extra week tacked on to the bottom of this because there's a Monday. So it's a whole week for just a Monday. And when I started bullet journaling, I was so against the idea of starting my planning on Mondays because the week starts on Sunday. So I was always like... You know, it's got to start on Sunday. But then, in a YouTube video I watched, someone said that they start theirs on a Monday so that they can keep their weekends grouped together. And I thought, wow, that's brilliant. That's such a great idea. So when I started this journal in October, I just started planning everything on Monday. So anyway, that was a long story. But back to the actual calendar. Um, I did the same exact thing, and you'll see here in a second that I colored across the top again with a Tombow pen, but instead of using my Uniball gel pen, I'm using a Posca paint pen, and that worked out okay. Um, I think I should have gotten like the extra fine tip, but I got the fine tip, and honestly, there wasn't really that much of a difference between the Posca paint pen and the Uniball Signo in 
terms of the opacity of the ink, but I will say that the Posca pen dried more quickly so it didn't like transfer around or get smudged like my gel pen did, so I will be continuing to use the Posca paint pen as opposed to the gel pen in the future. But anyway, I use this fat little font on top of the calendar and I, you'll see here in my brain dump, I continue to use that font throughout the month and in, I used it a lot in November as well. So again, just scattering trees across the pages as I go. This month, I really thought I needed two brain dump pages just because we are going camping and we're traveling out to the lease and it's Christmas and there's a lot of activity going on. So I thought I would just make two brain dump pages so I'd have plenty of space, which five days into December, it turns out I really needed that because the first brain dump page is already full. So I used a Tombow pen to write brain dump at the top, the Stadler pigment liners to border the edge, and the Stadler color pencils to make my beautiful little non-Christmas Christmas trees. Okay, so here are two new trackers for this month. Um, the right hand side is a December expense tracker. I've never been successful keeping up with my expenses in my bullet journal before, but I'm really going to try this month and we will see how it goes. And then on the left hand side, I've got a Christmas budget slash gift tracker. I tend to get a little crazy spending money buying people gifts around Christmas time, so we came up with our budget for it and I really need to stick to it. So I have this tracker here. I've got the left hand side split up with who it's for, what it is, the amount of money it is, and then two columns, one to check off when it's purchased and one to check off when it's wrapped. And then on the right hand side, I've just got columns for the date, what it is, where it is, and the amount of money that was spent. Okay, so these are simple spreads. We've just got um, what I ate and the sleeping and feeding. I decided to combine the sleeping and feeding schedule this month. And then the what I ate, instead of doing a chart, I just kind of set it up similar to my one line a day. But on the right side with the sleeping and feeding, how I'm trying to do it and simplify it is just by highlighting um, with a gray Tombow the times that he sleeps and then I'm just putting dots when he eats. So, so far we're on December 5th and it's working okay. I think I do need a better system that is more simplistic or I just need to give up on tracking it, but whatever. All right, so these two, again, are simple. They look really similar to the last two pages, but the left-hand side is for me to write down what I'm thankful for. I really liked doing that last month, but instead of incorporating it in my weekly spreads, I decided to give it its own page. And then on the right side, I've got the one-line-a-day page set up. They're the exact same setup for both pages, but since we're already on the 5th of December, I kind of have an idea about things and I think going forward I might need to make it a two line a day situation. Okay, jumping into my first weekly spread. I thought about doing this in November but forgot, so now I'm doing it in December, but I wanted to separate my events and my tasks for each day because I think it looks a little bit muddy when it's all jumbled up together in the same box. So I have six boxes here toward the right of this two page spread and one of them is designated for the weekend and then on the left hand side I've got seven rectangles and that's where I will write my events and then above that um, I've got a little calendar and then in this blank space above all the boxes I'm writing have yourself a merry little Christmas because it's my favorite Christmas song so I'm writing the tall skinny letters with a gray Tombow and then I'm using a Pentel touch sign pen something like that I'll link it below for the calligraphy and then again going in with my little trees <music>
Okay, here we are in week two. I went back to a vertical layout and to separate my events, I just put a line, um, I think it's four dots into the box there. And then I used the bottom of the page to do my little trees and another Christmas song quote. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And I really am enjoying the contrast of the red Pintel pin with the green trees. I mean, I know, obviously, green and red Christmas. Yeah, I know. But I just really liked the way that it looked. It looked super clean and put together. I don't know. I just, this month has been one of my favorites so far. And it, in my opinion, just keeps getting better as it goes through each week. Here in the middle of the month, I just left a space for December memories, so I'm just writing December memories at the top, and we'll leave it blank for me to write or put pictures or whatever I want, just a space for me to document the month of December. All right, so moving on to week four, I went back with the vertical layout, but I kind of just staggered the boxes so it didn't look as uniform. And then I did the trees, and then at the top, again, another Christmas lyric, because obviously I'm in love with Christmas music, but the, it's the quote, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, which is my second favorite Christmas song, and I, I literally love it. I just, I love this theme. I love the way it looks. <laughs> Alright, here we are on our last week of the month. I decided to do this as a one page spread because we are going out of town that week and I'm not planning on having a lot to do. But I also kind of messed up quite a bit <laughs> on this one because I only did six days in this little black part which was done because obviously there's seven days of the week. So I didn't realize that till like much later, like <laughs> till like two days later. So on the bottom, um, the horizontal box on the bottom I just wrote Saturday and Sunday in the box so that I know that's for both days even though it's not documented with the number but whatever and then on this last page we've got another Christmas quote we wish you a Merry Christmas and since I had the full page I did a little bit more. I just made it a little fancier and did some banners and whatnot. So I really loved the way that this looked and that is the last spread for this month. Alright, so that completes my December planning session. I, I seriously love this theme. I could be the only one that loves it so much, but that's okay. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And even though it's super cliche, I can't finish this video without saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.